Over the next two steps, we're going to demonstrate how to do a basic edit. First, we'll cover video, then audio, and at the end of it, we will have something close to this. To get started, we're going to drag our first clip down onto the timeline. If we zoom in, we can see that this has brought the video and its associated audio down with it. If we hit the spacebar, it will play the timeline in our preview window. We can then hit the spacebar again to stop. This clip is longer than we want, so we need to cut it down. There's a couple of ways that we can do this. Option one is to hover your mouse over either end of the clip until this bracket appears. If you click and hold the bracket, you can then drag the end of the clip along to shorten it. To do this at the start of the clip, you click and hold and then drag the clip into the playhead to shorten it. If you want to lengthen the clip again, it's a very similar method, but this time you want to hover over until you get the double bracket, then click, hold and drag. If anything goes wrong, you can always hit Ctrl or Command and the Z key to undo your previous action. Another way to cut your clip is to find the point where you'd like the cut to happen by dragging your playhead along. If you want to get really precise, you can use the left and right keys on your keyboard to step forward or backwards in individual frames. You can now just hit the C button on your keyboard to cut this segment in two. You can then click on the bit you don't want and hit delete. At this point, we want to add a second clip. We could drag one down to the timeline or we can use the preview panel to essentially pre-edit the clip a little. We'll double click on the clip to bring up the preview and then we'll look for where we want the footage to start. This will do, so I'll press the I key on my keyboard to mark an endpoint. We can now play this clip along and hit stop when we're happy. This is called mark and park. Whatever method we use to bring the clip into our timeline, it will only use what is in between the endpoint and the point where it stopped. Alternatively, you can manually mark where you want the clip to stop by dragging the playhead to the correct point and then hitting the O key on your keyboard to mark an out point. Now we've selected which bit of footage we want, we have three methods for getting this into the timeline. For option one, we can drag and drop as we did before. For option two, we can hit the replace button and the new footage will replace anything after the playhead. And finally, we can use the insert button to drop the clip in by splitting the first clip into two on either side of the new footage. I know I want the new clip to drop in just after they ride off, so I'll scrub my playhead along and then click replace. Let's add in our third clip using the replace button and we'll drag our title footage here down onto the timeline. We'll select our three clips by clicking and holding down the mouse button and dragging the selection box over the clips we want before letting go. Now we can just drag them down to join up with the title card. If we drag our playhead back to the start, we can hit the spacebar and see that we've assembled our footage how we want it. Now that we've got the video element in place, we can move on to the audio side of things.